Hi Stampin' Friends! Tonight I'm going to do sort of an unboxing video for you all of the January through June um, Stampin' Up! mini catalog. Um, so for those of us here in the north, <laughs> it is the spring mini catalog. That's what we used to call it. Um, there, I was ordered as much as I could to show off as much as I could for you all. Um, but there are a few things that we weren't able to order. Um, a ribbon, soft succulent, shimmery ribbon, super pretty. And um, just a couple other things that um, I didn't order that I want. So you know how that goes. Sometimes you have to wait till next time. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go through the things that are in the mini catalog first. And then I'm going to do celebra celebration all at once. And my plan is to um, show, show you everything. So like if you were already here for my pre-order unboxing, some of the things may be a repeat. I've tried to take them out of the some of the Viz Queen and stuff like that before I got started so that it would save time. So hopefully that will help. So let's get started. Okay. So first thing I wanted to show you is this Valentine suite. I can get it where you can see it there. There we go. Hi, Diane, it's great to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, so first we have the Bouquet of Love, and this is a hybrid embossing folder. So what this does is it embosses um, with a heart in the middle that is not embossed and it has this really pretty floral and I really liked how it looked. So that is the bouquet of love hybrid embossing folder and I think what they think it makes it hybrid is it has some of these coordinating dies so you can punch out with your die the heart that's in the middle there or you can cut out a little piece of it there. So you can see how those kind of layer up. And then it has a tea, tiny sentiment uh, die, and then a large, a nice large sentiment cutout piece. So I think those will be useful long after um, you've made wedding cards and Valentine's with it. I think those will, those will probably go in the little bin on my table where I keep the, the sentiment cutting dies. So that's that one. The stamp set that goes with that has a variety of wedding and um, anniversary things in it. And um, there's a lot of good ones in there that you can say to your person or to people who are engaged or getting married. Then there are the sweet conversation set. So of course you can see that this is like um, little candy hearts. There, this has matching paper, but I'm going to show you the paper all at once. So um, you can see that this is definitely a Valentine set. It is the clear photopolymer, so you'll be able to see what you're doing with it. And it has dies to cut out most of it. it has a nice tag, some tiny heart cutouts, a little tiny banner here, which I really liked. And then this envelope, this will make a little envelope that you can have your hearts falling out of, or you can um, put a little card in and with a little tab to pull, something like that. And then the banner up here. So it's got a lot of nice, cute um, dies to go with the sweet conversations. Then this one is one you may have already seen. It's called In the Moment. It is a red rubber. And um, it's one that I'll be trying to color, and we'll see how well I do with this one because it is a coloring type set. Okay, next, I'm trying to put these aside in a way that makes sense. There we go. Next is the Honeybee Home and Blessings of Home sets. So these are a nice floral with some nice. Um, kind of interesting little have a perfect birthday kind of sentiments and um, I should have brought it over here but we just used what a beautiful day it says for love but we used our marker to just put what a beautiful day um, for a calendar so that makes this one makes a great calendar 
And then I've already used this one, so I have it already put on my magnet sheets from Stampin' Storage. And um, this is also off, obviously is red rubber and has a, I really enjoy these um, pretty florals. Now, it also has this stamp set, which is called Honeybee Home and the Honeybee Blooms dies. You can see there they are still in the container. Cuts out the bee stamps and some floral stems instead, whereas the other one is more of a close-up of the florals. You can see that stamp set. And then it has a matching, nicely textured um, hive embossing folder. So, and this is very realistic. They're not exactly the same size. The hexagons are, um, are varied in size, much like a honeybee. So you can see that little folder. I think that will be a lot of fun. That's that grouping. And it also has a matching paper. And then this is one that Stampin' Up! gave us for on stage. It has the amazing silhouettes, and it is also red rubber. I haven't mounted it yet. It just came. And, of course, it has like a little, um, you could, you know, maybe work on it and make it a tree. Um, but it could be also a, a floral stem. And then this little um, floral design and then a pretty little butterfly. So that's a cute set. Um, let's see here. Oh, I was supposed to have shown you this one earlier. This is the gingham embossing folder. It went with the um, hearts. So I think what they intend for us mostly to do with this, because it's not, it doesn't really look like gingham like this, but if you put red or something like that, a darker color on here, like maybe a pink, it would make it look more like gingham, because as it is, it's not like this. This is this looks like gingham, but when you just do it on a single color, it sort of doesn't. Okay, so next, let's do this one. Let's see here. Okay, so we have this sweet little box. Oh, that sweet little box is that went, that's part of that um, Valentine. So this one is called Tulip Fields. So it is photopolymer so that you can tell what you're doing and so that you can make a fanning of the field, like if you're looking like a horizon kind of a thing, so that it gets bigger as it's closer to you and then, you know, comes to a point. So that one's called Tulip Fields. And then this is the die that goes with it. It is called Windmill Fields. Fields. So you've got a windmill that layers uh, you've got a bicycle that cuts out and then a big wheel for the windmill, little fencing, a background tree, a cloud, and some tulips. So I think that this will be a lot of fun and not necessarily all together all at once. Like you might put big windmills and then sometimes put uh, just the stamped windmill. So there's several different ways I think that you can use this particular set or bundle. Now this is the flowering fields, and I would say this is like some two-step stamping. Um, you could stamp this um, in order to layer it and make it look like a real tulip. And um, it has some good sentiments. Um, Happy Mother's Day, of course, and then you're so thoughtful, just thinking of you today. Let today be the start of something new. I mean, just kind of some fun things. And it is also a photopolymer. Um, so I think that will allow for really easy placement of your tulips. And then this one is the set of dies to match called tulip dies. I'm going to have a hard time because, you know, we have tulip fields, windmill fields, tulips, and flowering tulips. So it's going to be a little bit confusing trying to figure out what is what. Hi, Shauna. It's great to see you. So you can see here, you've got this row of tulips, which I think will be really cute. It's kind of reminiscent of uh, that circle die that we had recently, where it was a circle and across the bottom it had some tulips. So I'll be wanting to do some things like that, I'm sure. Um, it has stems and leaves for the tulips, and then it has layering for the tulips. So that'll be fun for um, class, and then also for a die cut class. I think it'll be really pretty. Hi Kelly, it's great to see you as well. So that is the tulip set. And now I have the Slim Sang set. 
So what we got is here is slimline card envelopes. The green or soft succulent one has um, an edging that's kind of nice. So that's fun. And then these are just kind of straight, unless they go, let me check. They are the same. I didn't think about it. They put these in upside down. Yeah, so this one is in this way and these are in the other way. So I probably did that so that they wouldn't be too thick on one end. But um, this looks like to me like smoky slate. And um, so you can see they have put a really pretty liner inside that will look great with your card. So this one's black. This one is the smoky slate. And let's check this one. Oh yeah, it's the soft succulent. So I think these will be a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, I didn't realize what I was doing and I didn't get quite enough of them. So I'll have to order some more. You know how Stampin' Up! does? They make me have to order more, more, more. But to go with that, they have both a stamp set and a set of dies. So the slim, let's see what they call it, slim card dies. So you can make an edging to kind of match the envelopes. Like, you know, you put it across the bottom to make your, your little edge not be exactly straight. And then this is kind of like a chevron look that'll, you know, cut out a little design. And then this one is another shape that you can use to kind of has some stitching and then kind of comes to a point there you could put, you know, a heart or something in there would be really pretty. And then this cuts kind of a, kind of a mosaic kind of a look there, kind of look like lanterns. But um, I think these will be really cute on your dies. And this isn't super intricate, so I think it would be pretty easy to catch your, um, your offs. And so, Two, I think it could be cute. You would still, you could use these little pieces to make a different design of your own. What is cut out, I mean. And then this is the sayings that they have to go with it. Um, you really are fabulous, you're one of a kind, enjoy, happy for you, happy birthday, and congrats to the graduate. This is a red rubber set, so I'm sure that they'll show us some tips on that, but I'm imagining um, with this one, we would need to use our Stamparatus to get things exactly where we want them on the slimline card. Of course, we can always cut them out with a die. All right, let's see here. What should I do next? Let's see. This bundle is a stamp and punch bundle, um, and it has um, a, a, a little punch that punches out the daffodil, daffodil, ladybug body and the wings separately. So you can stamp your wings or you could take these out of vellum and make a really cute kind of thing. So that could be cool. Um, this is photopolymer. So you can make a little leaf and put, you know, kind of have things, um, make things easier to mask and stuff when you have them on photopolymer and you can see what you're doing. So that'll be a lot of fun, I think, and putting your little dots on and all that kind of stuff and getting them in the wings and all that. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So, I feel like they spent some time determining how we would use this, so I really liked that point. Okay, then the next stamp and punch bundle is Happy Hedgehogs. And um, I think this one will be a joy to use as well. Um, you'll be able to do your, your he hedgehog bristles a different color than its main body and, and layer that on top. And then I guess I, you put some little eyes on there. But I think this will be a cutesy kind of woodsy set that I haven't used one like this in a while. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. All right, let's see. I think next I'll show you the ribbons. So these ribbons, um, this one I, I didn't take out. This is the denim ribbon that we've had for kind of a while. Um, this ribbon is has been in a catalog before and it is back. It is to go with the Misty Moonlight, they say. So that's the plan on that. This is real red faux linen ribbon and it is to go with the, um, you know, originally, use it with whatever you want, um, to go with the designer series paper that is the um, Valentine. I love this. I think it's my favorite. It is an evening evergreen windowpane ribbon. It's kind of soft and nice, kind of a little um, 
I guess you'd say it's kind of, um, feels kind of fancy. It's, it's not as, this is a more rough ribbon and this ribbon is softer and it's just really pretty in the evening evergreen. I think it could definitely look black if it needed to as well. Then this ribbon is, it, all it says on it is white, uh, frayed ribbon. So the edges are frayed. It doesn't have any binding on the edge, but it is really soft. And I was looking at it kind of thinking, I wish we'd had it at Christmas, but I'm sure it will be beautiful with a lot of different um, things. It's just really, really pliable and really soft in your hands. It's kind of a, enjoyable to work with. And then this is the cotton ribbon combo pack that has misty moonlight and petal pink. So it's the thin one eighth inch wide ribbon. So that's that one. Just keeping it in here so I don't forget what it's called and what it is in case I need to order more. All right, these are our iridescent rhinestones. They're, ba they're basic jewels. And I wish I had thought to bring some paper over here. Let's see, I've got a post-it pad sitting here. Um, so, of course, when you put it on the post-it pad, it looks really, really pink. But if you put it on any other color, it looks that color. So for example, I put it on the brown, it almost looks brown. So um, I think we'll enjoy being able to use these with whatever whatever it goes with, because the pink goes away, is my point, when you put it on something else. So next up, we have the Brush Brass Butterflies, which is hard to say, but kind of funny. Um, these are like a sequin. Another thing I really liked about these, if you've done much with Stampin' Up!, you know that most of their things have a dot under them. These seem to actually be the um, full width of the butterfly. So like under, like the whole thing, there's sticky. So I was pleased with that. Or it's a really large dot that's been cut. There's nothing hanging out or anything on this. So I was very pleased with that. And there's the large and the small size and they come off really easy, but yet I feel like they're, they're really sticky. It's like it's stuck to just a tiny portion of my fingernail. So I think that they will not just fall off. Like we might be afraid that they would. They, I feel like they're going to be secure. <clears throat> this one is called the Polish Dots. Now, they are pink and clear. And um, I really like how they look just kind of shiny and soft. And then there's... Two, I think that's three sizes of these. We've got a medium over here on the end and then the large. No, maybe it's just two. I think I'm having a, like a tromploy. They're all large. And then this, this batch here is small. So I think those will be fun to use. Soft and pretty. Oh, I have two more iridescent dots there. Sorry about that. Let's see here. These are the doilies and they go with the honeybee things. Now, I should have, I'll show you that in just a minute. I guess I should have shown you that first, the paper. But it has a lot of cinnamon cider in it. And then the back side of it is actually where you find this um, basic gray. It has a, a weathered kind of, um, yeah, I guess you'd say a weathered wood kind of look. It's like white with the, the graining is gray. And then the other color is Misty Moonlight. So that's kind of different to have colored doilies. So I think we'll enjoy using those quite a bit. Then next up, we've got these hexagon dots and um, they go with kind of the um, modern floral looking set. So they're just black and I guess blushing bright and probably just jade, but they're hexagons. So that might be cool also to use with the um, honeybee hive embossing folder as well. And then we have these guys. This is the faux sea glass shapes and they're really tiny. So um, I think those look really pretty with, there's a kind of a ocean kind of set and there's like an underwater look. So I think these will look really nice and natural to put in that. And then this one is called pebbles enamel shapes. So this will be really cute to look, make it look like it's a kind of a river and got a little, few little pebbles in it. And they're quite a bit larger than the faux glass shapes. So if you can see kind of the difference on that. Put that back in the sleeve there. 
Okay, so that is that. And let's see, I have one more stamp set I forgot to show you. It's the Daffodil Daydream. So this is the stamp set. It is red rubber, so um, it will be, it's kind of big anyway. I think you, you probably wouldn't do a lot of stamping without looking what you were doing. And it says a Happy Mother's Day and an Easter Blessings. Then, this is a gorgeous set of dies that you can um, create a daffodil with only the daffodil dies. So I think that will also be a lot of fun for us. You know, it has the nice leaves and stems. And then you can also, it's not just for that, you can also cut out both of the images in the stamp set itself. So that is very useful. And it has matching paper that's in celebration. So we'll get to that in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and go through the papers in the catalog. First, I'm gonna show you, whoops, I think I dumped this one out. This is a set of vellum. And it is has some book print on it. I don't know if that's probably not able to see that at all, I'm sorry. Um, but it has, each one it has in both black and white. So here, here is that same one in the black. Then it has a map, which I'm assuming is Utah because I've never heard of these counties. Um, Eldred, that sounds very strange. So um, there's, there's also like Washington and whatever, but you can see like Clover County, these kind of counties here. But it doesn't look, I can't tell here because it doesn't look like it's laid out like it should be to be, I, I don't see a big lake around it. So I'm not really sure what we're looking at here. I'll have to try and see if we can find out where that is exactly. And then here is another one of the tiny newsprints. And then there is the tiny newsprint in black. And yeah, I know that's hard to see. There is the, um, the map in white. So that is that one. I just kind of had to see what this vellum looked like. I think it's kind of nice. All right, let's see here. Try to reach all these, just a second. All right, I think I got them flipped all the way over. <clears throat> okay, this is the Flowering Tulips Bundle. I mean, this goes with the, no, it does not go with that. Let me flip it over. Too funny. I marked these so that I could tell you the colors that are in the um, papers as I go through here. So now we're set. This is the Sweet Talk Designer Series paper. Of course, it's a 12 by 12. And the colors are Real Red, Petal Pink, So Saffron, Granny Apple Green, Pool Party, and Highland Heather. So this is the cute little um, conversation heart print. The background has um, many languages. It has Spanish, um, definitely German, probably some French and English in Highland Heather. Then this is Lollipops, um, regular shape and then also heart shape. And the background is just kind of a, kind of a paintbrush spot with real red on white. And then this is just a candy profusion which I really like, just kind of all the colors with lollipops and hearts. And the background is a nice watercolor. Uh, hi Susie, it's great to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Then this nice heart print with um, pink hearts, and then I, I don't know that that looks petal pink. I'd say this is just a lighter red, because this is a kind of a true pink um, on here, rather than the peachy petal pink on that one. And then this really nice um, pattern here um, of stripes. And then a really cute, um, another heart pattern, background being the Highland Heather and a light, lighter Highland Heather. And then this is to look like the little boxes that they have for us, but these are in pink and then like the little conversation heart boxes. And then the background is a cute um, pink red and Highland Heather. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and say this. This orange looking heart would be the petal pink. And most of this pink is not petal pink, just to be clear. Um, so I'm thinking that's why they used the real red ribbon with it. I don't think any petal pink ribbon would be a match to this. It's only gonna match 
the things that look orange on here because the pink is a different color of pink. Just fair warning on that one. All right. So now this is the flowering tulips, the flowering fields designer series paper. Its colors are Poppy Parade, um, Petal Pink, Pumpkin Pie, Pear Pizzazz, Pool Party, and Highland Heather. So this first one is kind of like what I was talking about before, where the where the gets larger as it gets closer to you. So it's, it comes to a point up here and then gets large. So the background of that is this gorgeous um, watercolor that to me looks like a Monet. So that could be really useful on if you if you're not necessarily wanting to use this paper. This will be a difficult one, I think, for the um, paper share because it, some of them will get, you know, it's going to be cut at four. So some of them will get kind of three colors on a card. Some will get only one color on a card. Some will get a little tiny corner of another color. So I'm not sure quite how that'll work out for people. That might be one to use this side. Then, let me see here. This has kind of a an older style paper. It's kind of a pretty tulip. And then on this side, it's kind of a watercolor with the same with the Highland Heather. And this is some nice bright orange OSU tulips. And um, the back side of that is an orange, kind of a kitchen print, I would call it. And then we have the Poppy Parade polka dot. It's kind of a washed print. And the back side is clouds. Pink, red clouds. If I can get that where you can see it. Yeah, kind of different. And then this one is definitely tulip fields. Think we'll think we're at the Kuchenhof um, in Holland. And then this is just kind of a, I guess you would say, almost like an, an agrarian look, like it's, you know, almost like it's marked off for um, different fields. So that's that one. And then this is really a beautiful one. It has a background of pool party. And then the beautiful um, petal pink. And this one I would say is petal pink and poppy parade. And it looks really pretty. And white, of course, it really shines. And then this cloud set is the pool party and the petal pink and the clouds. So that's very pretty. All right. So then next up is the um, Symbols of Fortune paper. And this paper has, and you'll, you'll laugh at me as I show you this. You can see the paper. It has Calypso Coral, um, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, Crumb Cake, Smoky Slate, and Gold. So when you have this side up, all you see really is the Smoky Slate and the gold. But on the back side, it has color. So this little kind of wispy look on this side. And then on the back, kind of just a watercolor-ish kind of, kind of print on um, the Calypso Coral. And then we have, let me turn this this way. Then we have this little stork guy or heron or whatever he is. And on the back side, we kind of have a, a kind of an Asian print there. This one is just a spatter with gold and smoky slate. And the back side is this big, pretty floral that is the calypso coral and then some green. Then we have our little lotus kind of looking leaves um, in gold on the gray. And then almost like a scene here with the birds flying, one standing and some bamboo and like a little a little whole little scene in a tiny space. Then this one um, probably looks like some cherry blossoms. So that's kind of pretty. And it kind of has that linen screen look as well. And then on the back, it just has clouds and flying birds. So if I've made that where you can see it. And then another set of floral with bamboo on the back in the crumb cake. So that is that one. It's called Symbols of Fortune. So I guess it's all things that are lucky. All right, so the next one is called Artfully Composed. Not really sure why this one isn't called uh, Tropical Jungle Leaves, but for some reason it is called Artfully Composed. So we have the colors in it are <clears throat> Calypso Coral, Pale Papaya, Pear Pizzazz, Evening Evergreen, Just Jade, and Mint Macaron. So here you can see um, one with most of the colors in it. 
backside pale papaya. And um, I, it looks to me like it's a really, really tiny writing print. So maybe so. Hi, Cheryl. It's great to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Then on this side, it has more leaves and the background is the Evening Evergreen tiny print. This one has, and my goodness, that almost looks blue. It's the green does, the light greens. And um, another print of leaves, and this side is the Calypso Coral. Um, more jungle print with this one, again, with the greens. And then a nice stripe with the um, pear pizzazz. And then we've got this big one. Oh, I like that. I like that one best, I think. Um, with different different palm, palm fronds. And then the back in this nice diagonal stripe. It almost looks Bermuda Bay instead. And I guess that's why I thought that other one looked blue. But they may have some Bermuda Bay in it. They don't necessarily always list every single color that is in it. And then these palm fronds are also gorgeous. That would make a gorgeous card to use like for Easter and combine with like a, some kind of a, an idea of a Palm Sunday kind of thing. And so that's what this one really reminds me of. And the backside is just a nice little polka dot. That would be useful again for anything. All right, so that was the artfully composed paper. Now we have a six by six set of paper that is called New Horizons. And it has polished pink, old olive, ev evening evergreen, soft succulent, misty moonlight, and blackberry bliss. So it's this is one of those where there's only four pages alike of each one. Hi, Marlene. It's great to see you. Thanks for hopping by. And so there are is a wide variety of these. I think I'm going to have to go ahead and take them out of the package because it is hard to um, see them in some cases. So now this one looks like out on the prairie. I'm gonna turn it like this. Out on the prairie and then the sky. So they've like pre-made you a sky. The other side is just a watercolor pink. Then this one, it's like you can see even the flowers here and a pretty batch of um, mountains perhaps behind with the sky. And the back side is is that no it's not um is a just kind of a watercolory kind of thing that i feel like you could cut here and make it look like trees up here and maybe a pond and here's another one that's just kind of um, very abstract the other side is a watercolor then this one a different abstract and so there's this one has this particular set has a has dies that come with it or those diorama dies. I don't know if you guys remember those where it cuts out just kind of a, this shape kind of a thing. It's not really an oval. It's just kind of a shape thing. And so that is kind of, I think what they intend for us to use. Like you could make this the sky or, you know, just basically make your own decisions. And there's another watercolor. Then this one with a lot of pink, it could make, make it look like a water line here or there. And the backside is the purple. The Blackberry Bliss. Oops, I missed that one. And then this one again, another um, thing. And the backside is pale papaya, looks like to me. This one, I think that one could really look like water. You know, you could just use a snippet of it. And because um, this one looks like it's kind of reflecting back and forth. I don't know if you if you feel like that. Maybe maybe not. That's okay. And then the background is the gosh, I guess it's supposed to be, yeah, old olive background Let me get the rest of that and then another one of these where you're um, looking at a I guess what's supposed to be a water line and the background is the evening evergreen and this one almost looks like little houses the way the mountains are but um, almost kind of a wintry kind of a look on this one and the background I think is better the backside I mean I think is better because you could say it looks kind of like a prairie and a sky then this one is the blue, misty moonlight on the back. And then again, you know, depending on how you turn it, how it's going to look. And this has a lot of things with it that I wasn't able to purchase because I wasn't ready. I tried to stick to mainly what I was going to use in um, January, February, and March. So this one, I haven't bought anything that goes with it other than the little 
um, pebbles and things. Um, so like it comes with like dies that are the, the things in the set are the dies that cut out a fence so that you can make it look like you, you know, you always see fence fences somehow on a shoreline at the beach. So it's kind of a thing like that. And then let's see, so there's that one. Oh, here's another one. This one is kind of, let's see that. I showed you that. So this one is kind of a galaxy print. Um, like you could make that be outer space kind of. And the background again is misty moonlight. And gosh, have I not gotten through them all? I guess this is one more. I don't know if I've, sorry if I've done more than 12 things, but here is another print. And then the background is um, kind of this, it's not a galaxy, it's just a watercolor, but it just kind of has some um, even more riotous color there. Okay, so that's that one and it was called New Horizons. Okay, for the next one, this is called Abstract something. Let's see here, move that real quick. Abstract Beauty. So this has some things with it that cut out hexagons. So this is different than Stampin' Up! has had in a while. These pieces are remind you of the memories and more, but there's not. It's, it's just supposed to be paper, but it is the um, specialty designer series paper, and it has the gold on it, so it is just a little bit thicker, just a tiny bit. So this one has this floral print, and on the back side is this gorgeous Eastery um, watercolor lines with, oh, I should have told you, Just Jade, Night of Navy, Crushed Curry, Pumpkin Pie, Blushing Bride, and Magenta Madness. And But this, to me, looks like Balmy Blue and Just Jade. Then this one is definitely a watercolor, and this is the side that has our gold on it with what I would call Just Jade or Mint Macaron and the Blushing Bride. Background is dots, white and lighter dots on the Just Jade. Then this one is black and white with the gold, and the back side of it is another spatter of black and gray and on white. And this one is a misty moonlight. Is that a choice? Night of Navy, excuse me. There was no black, that was Night of Navy. I guess I was supposed to see that. Hmm, okay, Night of Navy, I guess. To me that looks black, but okay. Um, so then this is a watercolor with the gold spatter paper on it. Then this one, another abstract kind of a look with more, more paint blobs. Background is a diagonal black and gray stripe on white. So in this one, oh, yeah, more little water, more like we've painted there with our brush. And the background is the crushed curry with some tiny X's, little hashes. And this one reminds me of a paper that we had for um, Valentine's fairly recently. Um, so there you can see that where they've done the brush strokes, what looks like brush strokes in the gold. The back side is a really pretty, what I would call balmy blue, I'm surely it is. Then we have this gorgeous white and gold stripe. Background is tiny white polka dots. And then big gold polka dots. Background is tiny blushing bride with white dots. And oh, this is a sweet little print. Um, and it has just some little tiny bits of gold spattered around, just like that. And the background is the Marvelous Magenta, kind of some striping and then spattering of white. And this one look like a, looks like a speckled malted milk egg to me. Um, all the colors then on white with some gold mixed in. And the background is a Just Jade, um, a uh, watercolor. So that is Abstract Beauty. And next you can see I've already used this one. This is the one I was telling you about earlier that I made a calendar with. And um, it is called Heart and Home Designer Series Paper. So it has um, Misty Moonlight, Garden Green, Pale Papaya, Fresh Freesia, Cinnamon Cider, and Basic Gray. So this is the, a really nice print that I really enjoy in the Misty Moonlight. And this is what I was talking about earlier where the background is the um, basic gray 
on the white to make the um, wood grain print. So that's that one. And then this one is matches, as you can tell, the B things. And these little bees do punch out some, die cut some of these uh, bees. And the background is a diagonal wood grain. And this is a pale papaya and garden green on white. It's like, you can see, it's the stems. And then again, the background is the um, wood grain planking. On this one, we have the fresh freesia with white floral. And the background, again, is planking. Oh, goodness, can't get that. So this one is the um, garden green with the pale papaya and the fresh freesia in a floral. And the background again is the planking. And then this is a garden green leaf, leaf print with again, the background is the planking. Okay, this is our last non-celebration designer series paper. So this one is a baseball themed print. You could say it's sports, and there will be some things that could be sports, but a lot of it is baseball. Um, it is fairly specific, but there would be some things that you could um, punch out for other things. Um, certainly could use the That's a Home Run as just a congratulations type thing. And um, it has some You're Invited things that you could, could cut out and use for any kind of party. Um, it's just going to kind of look like a ticket, which is fun. So the background of this is, hmm, I'm trying to decide if I would call that a blue wood grain, perhaps. Um, so that's that. This is equipment. has a like a umpire or catcher's uh, protective, um, gosh, what do you call that? I don't know, chest protector. has home plate and a... Um, glove with a ball in it, balls on their own, and then a hat. Background is a stripe. I should tell you the colors on this. Poppy Parade. And all of these, to me, are very, very muted. The colors are darkened down. So, like, because this is very vanilla as the background. So, it's, it's all of the colors have a, a brownish cast to them, just because we're using the very vanilla with them. Poppy Parade. Bumblebee, Night of Navy, and Evening Evergreen. So then this one is like pennant banners that say things like yay and team and all star and um, celebrate, things like that. And the background is baseball stitching, which that's, that's one of my favorite prints in this because I think that would be a lot of fun to just um, cut it and put it across the bottom of a scrapbook page or something like that. And then this one, we have an Evening Evergreen with a with a very vanilla dot. And then we have this, which is like a sun thing. So it'd be really cute, I think, to put a picture here or a baseball here for a 12 by 12 page. This page is um, looks like evening evergreen, baseball, bat, and balls. And the background is the bumblebee stars with white stars. This is hard to recognize at first, and I think we're gonna have to use just a small amount of this to avoid it just becoming an eye confuser. Um, this is a baseball field. I don't know if it's easy to see. I think it's probably pretty easy to see like this laying flat, but um, a bunch, bunch, bunch of little tiny baseball fields. And the backside is just a really small ticking stripe. Okay, so that completes everything from that I got this time from the January through June mini catalog. So now I'm going to work on the celebration things. So let's see here. I'm going to try to get all the stuff. And the only one I was not able to, um, to get was the Calming Camellia, which is a free, it's a, a floral, of course, and the free host set. If I had gotten that, it would have cost me $24, and I'm pretty sure I'll earn it whenever the time comes, and it would have also taken away from something else I could have purchased that was the price of the $24. So, 
<clears throat> okay, so this one is Island Vibes. It has red rubber and a pineapple, um, a little potted plant and some palm leaves. And I think this will be good to use with this paper that we that I showed earlier. Oh, sorry about that. Gosh, guys. Okay. I think this will be um, pretty to use with this paper. You know, whether you've, even if you're not necessarily getting the entire suite of this, this one will make this paper very useful, especially if you get it in a um, paper share and just have a few pieces of it. I think it'll make it perfect. So the other paper we have is this daffodil paper. And it has a lot of dark um, background and basis, and then a bunch of really pretty flowers. Again, already colored for us. Um, this one, daffodils, echinacea, and maybe some little dianthus here, and maybe some forget-me-nots. So I think that's a really pretty one. The background of that is just kind of a kitchen, um, I guess you'd say it's a plaid. Um, it is in, let's see, I guess I should have looked that up too. I didn't though. It is basic black, crushed curry, daffodil delight, evening evergreen, flirty flamingo, mint macaron, mossy meadow, pale papaya, pear pizzazz, and very vanilla. So there you can see that one. And then, oh, I skipped the one. There we go. This one has the repeat that cuts in the middle here. So you'd get, you know, if you cut this into fours, you'd get two batches of cards. This would be a gorgeous one to put a, a sentiment at the top and just let this paper kind of shine because um, it just looks like a beautiful daffodil garden. Background has a diagonal stripe. This one is has no daffodils, but is still a very pretty print. Um, I can't remember what you call those kind of flowers. It's not Queen Anne's Lace. They're like a little, I don't know. I will have to look that up. And the background has um, pear pizzazz hearts. Little tiny, I'll see, oh, I know you're not gonna be able to see those hearts, but they're there, I promise. And then this is one of my favorite looks for a daffodil, is the ones that look peachy pink on white. So that is just a whole big, print of that. In the background is the petal pink. This one is all yellow, so it's just a daffodil print in there. Background is plus signs, basically, um, on black. Then here is another one. This almost, it's so funny, this almost looks like seaweed. There's so much movement to the stems, and then it has the daisies and the daffodils in it, and the background is the bright yellow. So that one was called, let me say it so you can remember if you need to, Daffodil Afternoon. That was that one. All right, so next up I have Catching Butterflies. I love the way this set looks. It has You Make My Heart Happy as a sentiment, Celebrate Every Beautiful Thing, um, what's that say? S collecting Sweet Thoughts of You, which is perfect with the butterflies. And um, I like to think of this that she's just collecting the butterflies and then looking at them and then letting them go. Uh, but this is also perfect with the gold butterflies that we have. Um, so I think this one will be fun to color and to use. It is red rubber, so that's that. Then this one, also red rubber, is called Driving By. It says, aw, thanks, driving by just to say hi, and you've got style. So you, it has one with presents, you could use at Christmas even, and then this one with balloons, which you could put the balloons, I would think you could mask this and put the balloons, flip, mask and flip, and put these balloons off the back of this little VW Bug as well. So it's a VW van, VW Bug, and then some kind of little cute sports car. So that'll be fun to use as well. Okay, also in the catalog that I didn't get this time um, is a set with rainbows. So this paper is called Sunshine and Rainbows. It has so much sunshine and so much rainbows. Um, so there's more, more sunshines or daisies. So that, that is a very, those, these are definitely um, cheery papers. So you can see these are in different colors. Let me go ahead and tell you the colors of this because there's a ton. Bermuda Bay, Mango Melody, Misty Moonlight, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Soft Seafoam, Soft So Saffron, 
did I say Flirty Flamingo? Granny Apple Green and Magenta Madness. So there's that. Okay, then now to this, me, this looks kind of like Melon Mambo, but okay, if it's Magenta Madness, maybe it has purple and I'm just not seeing it. These little rainbows are not necessarily a color that rainbows are, it's just kind of a shape there. And then this um, dash kind of paper. And then these clouds are kind of fun. The background is cute little tiny rainbows, almost too small to see in white on the pink. Um, this pretty rainbow paper background has, wow, well, I guess those are tea tiny, tea tiny, tea tiny rainbows. Um, or maybe they're hearts, I'm not totally sure. I guess they could be whatever you want them to be in the pool party. And then we have this, this hot pink with a background of navy with pluses. Let's see where the next one is. It's gonna be this kind of uh, multicolored stripe, tiny, tiny stripe with the background of, wow, I don't know. It's pool party, but I can't tell. It's just kind of dashy on the back. It's not really clouds. And then some gorgeous polka dots. I can see me using a lot out of that. And then a really nice stripe. This would be one, one that would be great to cut and then just uh, cut in the middle and flip one side over because that goes together really well. Oh, and then this kind of has a southwest kind of color scheme looking to it and kind of dashes and dots. And the background is a swirly white, like a like curly hue um, on pool party. Then this is more rainbows, background of soft sea foam and lines of dots, a pool party, di I mean a Bermuda Bay diagonal stripe, and then this is like little arrows, like little arrow tips on the background. And then here are some rainbows that even if you don't have the set, you could cut out the rainbow pretty easily just with scissors because they're so um, nice. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, eight full rainbows on each one. Oh, the background is splotches of white on what's probably, what color did we say that was? I don't know, it's gone. And then this, which is like the sunshine and the rainbows on a dark misty moonlight type blue. And the background is a kind of a mango melody with tiny white sunshines, so that's fun. Hi Pam, it's great to see you. Thanks for hopping by, good to see you. Okay, then the next one is a marble paper. I think this will be a lot of fun to use. It is called Simply Marble. The colors are Balmy Blue, Basic Gray, Blushing Bride, Bumblebee, Coastal Cabana, and Flirty Flamingo. Wait, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather. I just don't see it. Um, Misty Moonlight, Pool Party, Smoky Slate, So Saffron. Okay, that may be true, but when you look at this one, you see pink. So um, you can see that they're, they're all pretty much the same. This one has more of the paper than the others. Um, this one has, for each one, it has eight pieces of paper that are the same. So this would be great for producing, you know, mass producing cards and, and making eight alike, um, eight card fronts alike. So you can see this one is kind of more like marble, whereas this one almost looks like you're stirring up some, uh, really delicious frosting or something. So here it is in what I call the yellow. And whoops, I got the purple. There we go. And boy, isn't that rich looking. I really like how that looks. Or that may even kind of almost look like satin. So really pretty on that. And then here's the purple. So Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape. I can't at least see the Gorgeous Grape on this one. I understand why they're saying that. And in the background is a purple purple kind of stirred up paint look. The same here with it. See, we have an aqua, and then we have kind of a slightly more blue one. So this could be aqua or green, whichever. And then the background is uh, a really pretty, this one doesn't look quite as uh, rich as the others. This one I, can, I can, can't perceive it as a, oh, what would you even call that? Um, it's not as clear um, as far as looking like this one. To me, this one looks like almost a trompe l'oeil, like you can almost see that it's it's being mixed. This one, not so much, but that's okay. And then this is the gray, which is really looks like marble. And then the background is 
kind of like kind of like something being stirred up in it. And then this is the Art Blue, which has the background. Now this one's going back to looking like it's being stirred or it's um, shiny satin. So I like this one really well, very pretty. This one I think will be adorable to use like this, either the blue or the green or the gray on this side with this little awesome otter. As if he's in a stream, here's this one particularly. He's in a stream, he's caught his fish, and he's just floating along. Put in a few of those little pebble rocks and it'll be super cute. Um, he also comes with a hat. And um, this one, he's like popping his little head up. So you could maybe cut it across here, have the top be sky, and put him, um, just kind of peeking out of what could kind of be water. So it also says you could you are utterly awesome and it's birthday time. So I think we'll have no trouble using these two things together. Let's see, I'm gonna do one more. This is one of the $100 choices. This is called Special Moments. Um, it has two full sheets of sentiments using the photopolymer. So th these are easier, I think, to place on, um, you know, if you've already made your card and you wanna place it on there, these are easier to use in that way. There are so many good sentiments in this. Big congratulations. Even funny, silly ones like, hey boo, thanks for brightening up my day. A card to say you're amazing. And <laughs> it's okay to feel the feels. So you can see that this one, um, I think you'll really enjoy seeing um, all the possibilities for this. Um, I couldn't wait for a special occasion. I have something for you. So that's a lot of fun too. And thanks for um, hang in there. Sympathy. I mean, it's not, it's not all just silly ones. It's also um, sadly useful ones. So lots of variety there. Um, this one is probably my favorite out of the whole entire thing and how sad that I only get to use it in January and February. Um, this is called Friendly Hello. It's got these really nice, um, sharp flowers. It has great sentiments. Hello, friend. Hope you have the best birthday. Uh, you have my love and support. And then this cute little bird. So I just thought this, I think they may have said this is a kookaburra from Australia. I can't remember, but don't quote me, but I think that might be the deal. So what's so great about it is this is a $100 choice, unfortunately, but it comes with this stamp set and this gorgeous paper. So the paper has, let me tell you the colors real quick. Basic black, fresh freesia, granny apple green, petal pink, pool party, and shaded spruce. So you can see all the colors on this. It's so pretty. Um, just soft and nice, very springy. The back side, well, let me confuse you there. The back side is white on pool party. And then this one is black and white with pool party. That's the kind of the print with the little birdie. And the background is a nice, bright, leafy print. Then we have some freesia, the fresh freesia color with black and um, some white space as well. The background is some pale papaya with white, tiny, um, rounded flowers on it. And then we have white on pale papaya of the flowers that are, that are again in the stamp set. <clears throat> and this is a kind of a strange multi-sized dots on the background in pretty much all the colors. Then we have this on the granny apple green with white background being a gorgeous batch of stripes and, and it looks like little hashes or dashes or stitches between each stripe. And then the last one is the pale papaya with white and black. And the background is a fresh freesia with white splatter. So it is a lot of fun and different things. I think that there will be something for everyone. So if you do not have your catalog yet, um, if you are local, you can certainly stop by my house and pick them up off the porch. Um, and if you don't have another demonstrator, um, so I would be happy to give you catalogs. And if you are not local 
and you don't have another demonstrator, um, just message me and um, we'll see about getting you some catalogs out to you as well. Hi, Connie. Thank you for watching. Um, so I hope that you've all found something that you like. Um, this particular catalog has such a, a wide array of things. Um, there were some things that I was like, I don't know if I like that, but I think it'll probably um, end up being um, a lot of different things that I do like in it. So I hope that you feel the same way. So I hope that you have a great rest of your evening and um, get your catalogs if you don't have them so far. Bye-bye.